Hi folks, welcome. My name's Chris. Every year we see the cost of living going up. We see food, fuel and electricity always going up and this year none more so. I've seen the electricity bill really go up and I wanted to do a wee video about that. We are looking at predominantly using this rocket stove here, the EcoZoom, in conjunction with a few other things. And I just wanted to show you some of the things that I've been doing which has helped reduce my electricity consumption and therefore my bills. Now, long story short, two years ago, I owed the electricity company 800 pound. That was after paying my monthly direct debit. And now I can tell you that I've put a power meter reading in and they owe me 400 pound. So what I do does work. So part of that two year journey of being in debt to them owing me money has involved outdoor cooking and in particular using something like this rocket stove here. This isn't solely responsible for a reduction in my electricity costs and uses but it's helped. It's been a, an important uh, component of that and I just think it's important to try and uh, make an effort and be conscious and mindful of trying to save money uh, in various different areas. I, I don't mind spending money but I don't like wasting money. Today's video is pretty simple. I just want to offer a couple of tips and tricks that I use which has encouraged me to get outdoors and do this kind of cooking and, and therefore save my, my electricity consumption. Now, I'll state the obvious, there's an initial cost when you buy a piece of equipment. Take this EchoZoom rocket stove here, it cost me £100. If I use it once, it's cost me £100 to use. If I use it 100 times, it's cost me a pound per time. This is five years old and it's still going strong. And so the more you use it, the more value you get out of the piece of equipment that you've purchased. So today we're going to be boiling up some potatoes. So one of the most important things when you're doing the outdoor cooking and using something like this rocket stove is just making it easy for yourself. I, I don't bother with paper or birch bark or anything like that. I get these here. These are like sawdust and, and, and beeswax mixed together. They're like fire lighter and they just burn hot to start with, make it very easy. I also have a lot of wood cut, a lot of kindling cut, because that's all you need really for an echo zoom rocket stove. Just little bits of wood like this, I've got a pile of it in the woodshed. You don't want to get home from work, cut your wood, then go and do your outdoor cook. You want to be able to just get ready and go. Or you can just reach in and light that and that's it. So we just put our wood in now and we're ready to go. I like to use wood because it's free. I live near a woodland. I know a lot of people will live in the city and away from the countryside and this just isn't possible for them to do. But for me it is and anybody that it is possible to do, I do strongly recommend doing this, making the effort and getting a lot of wood. You can use charcoal briquettes. I have used them in the last video, but well, bear in mind they do come at a cost. The wood that I like to use mostly is oak, though I have been using some birch recently because I found a downed birch tree. But oak burns nice and hot, nice and slow, lasts quite a while. Today I just simply want to boil some potatoes up. Now if you want to, you can get something like that, a hot plate, and you can use it like a hob. And put a couple of pots on there and cook at the same time. But it will take longer but what that does is regulate your heat a bit more it's not so intense right here in the middle is the most intense heat but either side of that's not too bad for today's video i just want to simply boil up some potatoes every little thing you do like this contributes to the saving of using electricity so when you think about it right now i am not using electricity if i were to boil these potatoes inside that's about 15 to 25 minutes of using electricity that I'm not doing right now. The amount of potatoes I have in that pot is going to do the wife and I two meals. So we're going to use half tonight. We're already going to be having something cooked for tomorrow or the next night. Now, one of the options we can do tonight is we can, we can make a potato salad with a bit of mayonnaise. Uh, as it stands, I'm going to be cooking some chicken tonight, grilling it. So tonight I'm going to be firing this up for the first time actually and I'm going to be using wood to cook and I'm going to grill some chicken and I'm going to cut some of those potatoes in half and also put them on the grill as well. So they're already going to be cooked for tonight. A little bit of fore planning and also using equipment in conjunction with each other can help. So I cook so often outdoors now that it becomes a way of life. 
and it's important to have equipment that you use for your outdoor cooking to hand and not inside because they can get blackened and dirty so that's a good pan there that heats up really quickly what I did the other day was just one meal on that I had some vegetables some beef and I put noodles in there with some sauce and I did like a little stir fry nice and easy and very very quick something else that's really good to use is a Dutch oven again it's cast iron this and it heats up really really quickly but one of the things that I like to do is cook in bulk so the other day in this Dutch oven I did a stew now the reason for cooking in bulk is that I had my meal for that night but then two nights later I was able to have some stew which was already cooked so as a result of using this Dutch oven to cook a stew and being a couple of meals uh, prepared in advance it meant it saved me electricity in two ways the first way of course was the fact that I just simply needed to heat my food up which just took five minutes and the second way was I had very few dishes because I wasn't cooking from scratch I have been guilty of having potatoes on, veg on, meat on and even a sauce and using all four hobs by cooking a big stew I was able just to heat it up five minutes, six minutes and I had very few dishes so using your hot water in the house also uses electricity and there's a few things that you can actually do with hot water so obviously here I can get a kettle, put it on the EcoZoom rocket stove, boil myself up some water, make myself a cup of tea. But you can actually do a little bit more than that as well. If you want to turn the heating down in your house, because you have to, invest in a hot water bottle, use the hot water from the kettle there, that's cost you nothing to get a little bit of heat. Also, a flask comes in handy, you can either fill it up with the boiled water or make yourself some tea. You can have two or three hours time without boiling the kettle. Another thing that you can do, put some cold water in a tub like this and the hot water from the kettle and you can do your dishes. So it saves you electricity by cooking. You can do simple meals. You can cook in advance. We'll get two meals out of that potatoes there. You can cook in bulk, do a stew. You can cook with a couple of pans on at the same time using the griddle there. You can use it in conjunction with other equipment like this little barbecue here. That's going to require less fuel than that big kettle barbecue there. So if I'm going to cook a lot of food and I've maybe got some people over, I can use that. But for the wife and myself, we can use that there. And we've already got the potatoes cooked for tonight. So we're also looking at the water then. You know, you've got your dishes you can do. Get yourself hot water for later on. Get a cup of tea on the go. And even keep yourself warm inside a little bit if you can. I know it sounds like a lot of work, it's not. It's the more you do it, the more use you get to doing it. And for me, I enjoy doing things like this. I don't live off grid. I kind of wish I did, but I can pretend I do in a way. Now, if you are serious about reducing your electricity costs, you do have to put an effort in, but you can make it effortless. If you've got the wood all prepared, if you've got something easy to use to light your fire, fire lighters there, make it nice and simple for yourself. You know, have all your equipment to hand if you can. So these potatoes, I'm going to give them probably 10 minutes and they'll be cooked for tonight. It's a beautiful day. I hope this helped. It's not one thing that you do that saves you the money. It's lots of little things and this is just one part of it. But I do say that the key is to really enjoy it. Okay, folks, the potatoes are boiled. We're going to strain the water. I have a pot here with water. Put that on, bring it to the boil, put the rice in. Get that rice cooked off, let it cool down, and then I'm going to refrigerate that, and I can use that tomorrow or the next night. When you come to stir fry your rice, it's best to use cold refrigerated rice that's been left overnight. So we are concluding. I have done an EchoZoom review video, and I have had a lot of comments on that, and I've had five comments in particular where the people have thanked me and then said that they're going out to purchase one because the video helped. So I'll put a link to that if you want to see it. It's a little bit dodgy, but it is my best video and it really takes a look at the, the, the Echo Zoom here, the rocket stove for your cooking. So you can have fun and that's the main thing. So thanks so much for checking this out. I do hope it helped a wee bit, but uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers.